Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial is designed to introduce you to a basic set of interpolation techniques and surface comparison which is including inverse distance weighted interpolation IDW, SP line interpolation, kegging interpolation like this. Before beginning the tutorial, please download the practice file which link has given in the description below and unpack it. This data for this tutorial are average minimum and maximum temperature for a series of weather station in Bangladesh. These data are contained in a shape file called PT climate. So launch your arc map, go to arc catalog, connect the specified folder. drag and drop the shape file to the layer you might also want to underlay map of Bangladesh for visual reference and you have to change the position to something more appropriate so again go to catalog menu then drag and drop the boundary line to your layer Now I am going to check the database of BD climate. So right click on here, open attribute table. The attribute table of BD climate contains a variable called average temperature over there. As can be seen in the attribute table. Now I am creating a field to create average temperature of the physical year Click OK. This is the average minimum temperature of the year. Alright, so without further delay, let's jump right into the tutorial and I'll show you guys how we can interpret and generate this kind of thematic map for an area that of interest to us. So, to do that, you can simply go to catalog menu. Click on system toolboxes, go to special analyze tools, click on interpolation, after the expansion of interpolation tools you can see that there is an option called IDW, clicking natural labor, SP line. Topo to raster, topo to raster by line and trend. In this tutorial, I will discuss regarding IDW interpolation, creaking interpolation, and SPLAN. And I will try to show you the comparison between IDW and creaking and IDW to SPLAN. So, first, I am initiate the IDW interpolation. So, simply double click on IDW. The window that appears give you option for selecting the input feature. So drag and drop the video climate to over here. In jet value, I will give here the average minimum temperature. And I will keep the art processors as it is. Then I will go to in environments for masking the district boundary line. So click processing extent. 
and select same as layer district then ok then go to raster analysis and in mask option I will give over here district boundary then ok after that click on ok the process is ongoing over here the process has been completed over here and now you can see that this is the result of IDW which is uh, masking with the district boundary now I am check the district boundary change the color symbol as a hollow now again go to catalog menu double click on clicking drag and drop the particular data to input point feature change the jet below from here select average minimum temperature go to environment click on processing extent select same as layer stick then go to raster analysis and in max option select this tip boundary for masking the dm and click ok then click on ok the process is ongoing over here so this is the result of clicking interpolation and you can see that the difference between clicking and IW this is the result of IW and this is the result of clicking so now I'm going to again get log menu and click on SP line drag and drop the bt graphene shape file to input point feature to jet value i am changing the field and setting average t minimum over here go to environment select the processing extent option change the extent option and select same as layer district click raster analysis now i am asking the boundary line to select district then click ok ok and the sp lines interpolation has done over here now I am comparing interpreted surface so oftentimes it is useful to compare the output of different interpolation result to do this we will subtract one of our interpreted surface from another one this will highlight the difference between the two interpolations so before we complete this task, let's make another version of our clicking and IDW surfaces. This time change your environment settings to max the area or set up the Bangladesh. If we do not this, the highlight difference will more than likely be outside the state. So to do that, change the color ramp of IW and clicking by different color. So right click over here. Go to properties, click on symbology and change the color ramp 
for your better understanding click on here okay uncheck sp line check iw sp line now go to catalog menu click on map algebra then simply double click on raster calculator then click on clicking minus idw save your output raster on your digital folder i will keep it as it is so click on ok now i am unchecked all option except this one okay by default the white area are high values which is uh, iw greater than clicking and the black area are negative values that's mean iw less than clicking to best illustrate you could change the symbology to display the negatives and positive value in different views all right friends so i guess that's about it for this tutorial and i hope the tutorial was quite helpful for you guys if you did like the tutorial please don't forget to give it a like comment and share with your family and friends if you would like to see this kind of interesting gs tutorial on a weekly basis don't forget to click the subscribe button as well and you will get notified immediately as soon as i upload a new video on this channel see you again in another tutorial thank you and have a good day.